welcome to St. Marie's Children's Liturgy. My name is Candida and today we're celebrating the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Now, have you ever had an invitation to a wedding? I received one quite recently and it was an invitation to my little brother's wedding and that took place a couple of weeks ago and we had the most amazing celebration with a small group of friends and family. And now my brother and his new wife are starting out their new life together as man and wife. Today's gospel is also about a wedding invitation. I wonder who's getting married? I'm gonna have to wait to find out. But before we do, let's begin by lighting the candle. As we light the candle, we remember that Jesus is the light of the world. He is like a light shining in the darkness and helping us to find the way. Because all of us come from God and all of us are trying to find our way back. We need our right hands and we say, from my head to my heart, from my shoulder to my shoulder, I belong to you, God, our Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's say it the grown up way as well. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. If I have hurt anyone by what I have said and done, Jesus, I am sorry. If I have ignored someone or made them feel unloved, Jesus, I am sorry. If I have been unforgiving and full of anger, Jesus, I am sorry. Today's Gospel comes to us from St Matthew, as always, and in it Jesus continues the conversation that he's been having with the chief priests and the elders of the people in Jerusalem. Jesus shares a story in today's Gospel about a king who ha is organising the most spectacular feast to celebrate someone's wedding. And I have a couple of questions for you. So listen carefully, see if you can find out the answer. The first question is this, who was getting married? So question number one, who was getting married? And question number two, what did the invited guests do? Alleluia, alleluia, praise the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, praise the Lord. As we listen to the story, let us praise him for his glory. Alleluia, alleluia, praise the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. We need our right hand again. And we say, God be in my head, God be on my lips, and God be in my heart. Jesus said to the chief priests and elders of the people, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a feast for his son's wedding. He sent his servants to call those who had been invited but they would not come. Next, he sent some more servants. Tell those who have been invited, he said. 
that I have my banquet all prepared, my oxen and fattened cattle have been slaughtered, everything is ready. Come to the wedding. But they were not interested. One went off to his farm, another to his business, and the rest seized his servants, maltreated them and killed them. The king was furious. He dispatched his troops, destroyed those murderers and burnt their town. Then he said to his servants, The wedding is ready, but as those who were invited proved to be unworthy, go to the crossroads in the town and invite everyone you can find to the wedding. So those servants went out on to the roads and collected together everyone they could find, bad and good alike, and the wedding hall was filled with guests. When the king came in, to look at the guests, he noticed one man who was not wearing a wedding garment and said to him, How did you get here, my friend, without a wedding garment? And the man was silent. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot and throw him out into the dark, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, my questions today were, who was getting married? Question number one, who was getting married? And the answer is, shout it out, the king's son. And my second question today was, what did all the invited guests do? And the answer is, they didn't show up. They didn't show up to the wedding feast. In fact, no one came. My goodness, it's a real honour to be invited to come and share a wedding feast with someone, let alone the wedding of a king's son. I wonder why they didn't turn up. This story is, in fact, a parable. And Jesus went on to say what the king did when he found out that no one was coming to his son's wedding. Can you remember what Jesus said? He said that the king sent out servants to see where people were and why they had not come. And there were lots of excuses given to the servants about how busy the people had been. And some were really mean and cruel to the servants as well. This really upset the king and I can understand why. Can you? Imagine planning the most amazing party for lots and lots of guests and the most fantastic food and the most delicious drinks. And then nobody turns up. In the end, the king sent his servants out to the crossroads in the town and he told his servants to invite everybody from the crossroads, everybody to come to his wedding feast. And in the end, the wedding hall was filled with people the good and the bad. Since this story is a parable, we know that Jesus told it to us to give us an important message. So we're now going to be gospel detectives and we're going to try and work out what that message is. So are you ready? So we have a king and the king's son in the story. Who do you think that is? Well, the king represents God, our Heavenly Father, and his son, of course, is Jesus. I bet you knew that. And who do you think the original wedding guests represent? Well, they represent Israel, the Jews, God's chosen people throughout the whole of the Old Testament. And what about the servants? Hmm, who do they represent, do you think? Well, some of the 
servants represent the prophets of the Old Testament. And there were many of them. The prophets were people who came to share God's messages with the Jewish people. And not all the prophets were listened to. And not all the prophets were treated very well, just like the servants in today's story. But then God, as the king, instructed his servants to go out and gather everybody from the crossroads. And those servants represent the disciples of Jesus, the first disciples of Jesus, and the work of the church. They're the ones that spread God's invitation and the good news of Jesus throughout the whole world. In sharing this story, Jesus is telling the chief priests and the elders of the Jewish people that God's plan was to extend his invitation to everyone, not just the Jewish people. And God still has plenty of servants today extending his invitation to all people. And the Bible is full of those sorts of invitations as well especially in the New Testament. Here's a special invitation for you. It says, please join us for eternal life. Your heavenly father, creator of heaven and earth, invites you to share eternal life with him in heaven. You see, God is going to have a great big celebration for his son in heaven to celebrate eternal life. And we've all been invited. Of course, Jesus knew that many Jews in his day would refuse God's invitation to come to the banquet hall in heaven and to share eternal life with him. And just like the people in today's parable, many people alive today still give lots of excuses about why they can't accept God's invitation to eternal life and his amazing banquet to celebrate his son. Some say that they're too busy with their work or making money perhaps to come. Others say that they're just not interested. But I really hope that you will accept God's invitation. So let's finish with a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending us your only son, Jesus. And thank you for your invitation to come and join you in heaven. Without making excuses, we say, yes, please, Lord, we'd love to come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's it for this week. The Bible is full of invitations for us from our Heavenly Father and from Jesus, his beloved Son. So try and pick up your Bible soon and see if you can find one of those invitations for yourself. Our sing-along hymn this week is Great Big God. I know we did it last week. But I really love this song and it helps us to remember that this is all part of God's amazing plan. And don't forget, you're part of God's amazing plan too. All you have to do is accept his invitation because it's just for you. You can find a link to this song just under this video. Stay safe everyone, read your Bible when you can and I'll see you next time.